And if the current global demand continues, we could be facing a shortage within the next 40 years. That's strange because it's the second most common element after hydrogen. In fact, a quarter of the mass of the entire universe is helium. Most of it was formed by nuclear fusion moments after the Big Bang. It is still being created up there, wherever nuclear fusion is going on. That, of course, is the process that, that drives the stars, that drives our sun, where you have hydrogen atoms being mashed together to create brand new helium atoms. But unfortunately, that process is really, really difficult to recreate here on Earth. And that is what brings me here, to a place that has more helium than anywhere else on the planet. Hi there, it's Dallas Campbell from Bang Goes the Theory. Come on in. Thank you. For such a precious resource, I'm surprised it isn't more heavily guarded. Apparently, the uh, helium's through here. A kilometre or so beneath my feet is a gargantuan helium reservoir that stretches out pretty much as far as the eye can see. The helium is actually made by the radioactive decay of heavy metals in the rock, which means, apart from anything else, it forms very, very slowly. And over millions and millions of years, the gas actually collects in subterranean pockets or reservoirs. And I guess it's easy to imagine when you say reservoirs of thinking of great big, huge, cavernous spaces underground. But actually, all we're talking about is areas of porous rock. And I've got some core samples here that were taken from right here, from thousands of feet underground. And you can see the porous nature of the rock here, these tiny little holes, which are perfect for collecting helium or any other type of gas, for that matter. Helium naturally forms alongside methane, the natural gas we burn for cooking and heating. In most gas fields, only a tiny fraction is helium, and it's hardly worth extracting. But in the 1950s, US miners found levels as high as 7%. Now, there'd never been much use for the stuff before, but the arrival of the space race changed all that. Back in the 50s, helium, you know, was very important in the development of the atom bomb and in the early days of our defense systems that we were developing and in the space race, our need to get to the moon. So they felt it was all being wasted in the burning of natural gas. So they developed a program to extract the helium in Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas Panhandle right here and inject it right here into the ground in this well and three other wells. It sounds really odd that you can actually use solid rock as a, as a, as a storage tank. You're actually taking helium from elsewhere and pumping it into the ground here because it, 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 it that was the original as a, as a purpose. Storage tank. By the time the Cold War was over, there was a worldwide demand for helium in scientific research. Maintaining this huge reservoir was expensive, and so America began to sell off the gas at a rock bottom price. We produce about one third of the world's helium supply right from this bush dome here. And not just that, not, that's not just America, that's right. Right, right here, right, yes. right going through that plant you see in the background. 